In today's video, we'll be looking at how to make a simple logic probe. If you already know what a logic probe is, feel free to skip to this point in the video. If you don't, feel free to carry on watching. So a logic probe is normally used to test integrated circuits. And specifically, if the pins on the circuits are high, which means there's voltage, low, which means there's no voltage, and in some logic probe cases, pulse, which normally dictates that there's data passing through. As we can't see what's going on to the chip to see if it's working, for today's purpose we'll be using this LED. Because when the Arduino pulls the pin high, the LED lights up, and when the Arduino pulls the pin low, it turns the LED off. I'm using the basic blink sketch under the examples for Arduino. So I have my advanced logic probe here to demonstrate how we can test this. So if I put the probe end of the logic probe onto the input pin of the LED, we'll see that it says high when the LED is lit and low when it is off, noted by the red and green LEDs. There's a very simple way of making one of these and today we'll prototype this on a bit of breadboard. If you don't know what breadboard is, it's a very handy bit of kit to prototype where you have top and bottom these two lines that are connected this way. So if I plug something in here, it goes all the way through to over there, same with this. And then these two sections that are split in two where everything goes in that direction. Every logic probe should be powered by the circuit that they're testing. So today the Arduino is powering the circuit and has been powering the logic probe. So to start off, we need to take one of these and put it on the breadboard and take the other. So this is the plus five volts and ground. Then what we need is two LEDs, two resistors and one extra lead. The resistors doesn't matter specifically what voltage, what range of they are of resistance, as long as they are they are between three hundred and thirty ohms and one kilo ohm, and they are both the same. So what we are do doing here is these two leads going straight into the Arduino act like the crocodile clips on the logic probe supplying power, and then what this lead will do is act as our probe tip. So to start off with, we need to get the, one of the LEDs, I'm going to use the red one first. There are different lengths of legs, I'm not sure if you can see that fully on the camera, but the short leg, also denoted by a flat edge, is your negative, and the long leg is your positive. This is important to make sure they go in the right way around. So if we take the red LED and stick it into the holes here, so the short leg is in line with the blue wire and the long leg is by itself. We then take the green LED and we do the reverse, making sure that the long leg is in line with the positive and the short leg is not. What we can then do then is take one resistor making sure it's in line with the other leg of the LED to the middle and same on the other side, making sure that both resistors go to the same place. As you see, this light lights the circuit up and there is a reason for this. I'll come to a second and then we'll put the last, put the last one in there in line with the two resistors and this makes our probe tip. What we've effectively made here is a potential divider. So if I get this and put it on the input leg, we will see that when it is high, the red LED is on, and when it is low, the green LED is on. Same as with the logic probe. This is because as we have here, 
we have the positive leg on the resistor and the negative leg over here. When this is positive, power is coming down here, through and down there. And when it is negative, it is allowing power to come through here, through this LED and down the probe. And when you're not probing anything, they both light up as power is then going from here, through this and out there. What you can do after this is put this either onto a PCB or enclose it. So if I unplug this for a second, I have got an old felt uh, ballpoint pen even, old ballpoint pen case. I have put two crocodile clips that are in place of these. And then I have got a old needle, which is instead of this wire. So what you do is you would solder both resistors onto the end of this sewing needle. Then the other end of the resistors onto the LEDs that are inside here. Then the other side of the LEDs where these cables went, you would then solder the crocodile clips. So if I connect the positive to the positive one here, using the Arduino as the power source, you see that both LEDs light up, green and red, like the breadboard did. And if I touch onto here, when the pin is high, the red LED lights, see the light there, and when it is low, the green LED lights. So it's a very inexpensive and simple logic probe to make and should work between zero and nine volts. I've had this up to nine volts. I have not gone any further. A good way to test to see if this is working is you can put the crocodile clips onto the nine volt battery and then just touch the tip onto either terminal. And if on the positive, you get the red light, on the negative, you get the green light, that is it working. So there, that is simply how you do a very simple logic probe. And to make this enclosure took me about 10 minutes to solder it all together and then feed it into this tube. And then I put some glue on either end and that took 20 minutes to set. So in about half an hour, you can have yourself a simple functioning logic probe. So if you liked this video on how to make a super simple logic probe like this, and wish to see more, feel free to press the like button and subscribe down below. I am endeavouring to try and make more simple projects like this, as well as bringing my full project to this channel.